Frame data is often a phrase that separates casual and competitive players in most fighting game communities. And there was a time that even I didn't know what that term meant. Frame data really just means the simple breakdown of the different moves into their frames, or the slow motion play-by-play -play of each move. Skullgirls and most other fighting games run at 60 FPS. Really, only bad ones run at 30. Running at 60 FPS means that there are 60 frames per second, meaning that 30 frames is half a second, 15 is quarter second, and so on. When looking at moves in fighting games, time is not measured in seconds, but rather frames. If you want to look at the startup of a move, you're trying to count the number of frames between the input and the frame that the first hitbox comes out on. Skullgirls is extremely open in providing its frame data to you. You can get this frame data to display by going into training options and scrolling over to attack data and changing it to advanced. If you want to see the startup of a move, make sure attack data is on advanced and throw out any move in training mode. Look at the bottom of the screen and the white number on the left is the number of frames it takes for your move to start up. The second number is the amount of frames it takes to recover. If you hit a blocking opponent, the number turns into the number of frames you take to recover minus the number of frames your opponent takes to recover from block stun. A positive number means that you recover first, and a negative number means that the blocker recovers first. A positive number on block is referred to as safe on block, since if you start blocking right after your attack ends, you'll start your block before your opponent can throw out their attack. Conversely, most attacks that end with a negative number are referred to as unsafe on block, which means that the blocker can hit the attacker before they fully recover from the move. You'll notice that I said most negative moves are unsafe on block. In truth, it also takes a few frames of startup for the blocker to start up their attack, meaning that something that is minus one on block is also still safe, since no attack can reach them fast enough. Something that is minus two on block is also still considered safe. Except against motherfucking Big Bang Supersonic Jazz, that move is such bullshit, I can't handle- Anyways, if a move is greater than minus five on block, it's probably safe against most normals. Gogos also has another feature in training mode that shows you the attack data on a timeline banner across the top of the screen. Make sure you know which moves are safe and which ones are unsafe. If you try and punish your opponent's safe move, you might get caught in a frame trap. Oh my gosh, frame trap double D, what's that? I'm glad you asked. A frame trap is just a break in a combo that leaves you at a disadvantage. Let's say I end a block string at plus three. And while I'm comboing, you're angrily mashing buttons, and your first hit that comes out when I break my combo takes seven frames to start up. Now after my block string, I have ten frames to either block you or hit you before your move comes out. Now most of the time a frame trap is a lot smaller than 10 frames, and they're most usually seen in combos rather than block strings, but they all boil down just to punish someone who's mashing buttons. Frame traps are there to make sure that you respect your opponent and that you're not mashing buttons thinking you'll get a free combo. A very effective trap that I've seen is Bale's Crouching Chairless Heavy Punch that's cancelled into the Grand Alarm. The Crouching Heavy Punch is about minus 23 on block. Minus 20 frickin' 3! That screams full punish to your opponent. When they move in to start attacking you, you cancel it into a Grand Alarm and hit them. So yeah, in conclusion, go into training mode and find out which of your character's moves are safe and which of them are unsafe. Also see if you can experiment and find some frame traps of your own. Make sure you apply the knowledge you learned about this in frame traps with the knowledge you know before from mashing. Now that you know what your opponent is more likely to do, now you can more effectively punish it with a frame trap. This has been a production of I Wanna Be The Skullgirl. Make sure to test your new skills by signing up for the tournament Saturday nights at 8pm. Also make sure to watch the stream of the tournament at twitch.tv 86 to catch more videos like this.